German Shepherds have working lines and show lines, totaling five different types. The breed has changed drastically throughout its ancestry in various countries. Max von Stefanitz was the creator of the German Shepherd, aiming for a perfect personality, workability, and stunning appearance. His goal was to create a masterpiece, the ideal working dog reigning supreme above the rest. In this video, we will tell you about the five types of German Shepherds and their characteristics. Number 5. West German Working Line German Shepherds When it comes to temperament first, look second, the West German Working Line is the prime example. They are thought to be as closely related to what Max von Stefanitz had in mind. Not only are they charming, but they are also workers at heart. The West Working Line German Shepherds have a very stable temperament and got stunning looks. These GSDs have strong drives, excellent working ability, calmer attitude, and perfect colors. As with most working lines, these dogs tend to be smaller by a slight margin opposed to show lines. They are bred to have a high pain tolerance, which makes them much more valuable in their field of work. They are hardy in structure and have more of a blended coat pattern, known as a sable color. While this is the most common, they can also be black and tan or a mixture of sable and black. These dogs are much higher energy than show lines, which also means their prey drive is much higher. Because of this instinct, these types do much better in situations where they are doing what they were intended to do. Work if their desire for tasks isn't fulfilled, they may become bored, which can lead to nervousness and destructive behaviors. Having these working lines as pets is absolutely doable. However, it may require a bit more commitment on your part. These hard workers will need various games or tasks to fulfill their mental thirst. Agility runs, stimulating games for sensory, and a sense of purpose is essential. Need a food sufficient for your German Shepherd's appetite? Number 4. East German DDR Working Line German Shepherds East German DDR working lines share many common characteristics with the West German lines. They are much of the same history as well. The East working line DDR German Shepherds are very sturdy and graceful dogs, particularly long-coated. They have really strong bones, large heads, and expanded shoulders. These GSDs are used for military and search and rescue purposes. East working line DDR German Shepherds are mainly used to patrol territory borders and they are also excellent in tracking and attacking. DDR stands for Deutsche Demokratische Republik, East Germany. They were bred and tailored particularly for their extremely heightened desire to work, along with their ability to guard. Because of their prey drive instinct, monitoring them around other animals and small children can help avoid primal triggers. That doesn't mean that every dog in the line is as prey driven. Some are incredibly docile and sweet, never hurting a fly. However, because of their working roots, it is something to watch for as a reasonable owner. They have incredible focus and endurance, suiting them perfectly for physically and mentally stimulating roles. The East Working Line GSDs have darkest colored coats among all GSD lines. They are mostly black sable or sable, but some can be solid black, but it is very rare. Their backs are a little sloped. These GSDs can resist extreme harsh weather conditions and long work days. These GSDs are more defensive and reserved in nature like their West brothers and sisters. East German DDRs have sable coloring even though most are darker and sometimes even black. The East Working Line DDR German Shepherd have very strict breeding standards. The GSDs are only allowed to breed if they are fit and free of hip dysplasia. Even puppies are tested for proper bone structure, code quality temperament. If the bones and hip joint don't fit together correctly, one can develop a condition called hip dysplasia. Number 3. Czech Working Line German Shepherds Owners wanted Czech German Shepherds to be just as labor-intensive as other working lines. When Germany split between the East and the West, Czech Shepherds became more commonplace but didn't flourish until Germany reunited in 1989. Czechs are a bit leaner than other working lines and are nimble because of that. Their coats have dark coloring, can often be found by their darker coats and less sloping backs. These GSDs have more uniform coloring like wolfish gray, dark brown to black. Their ears are slightly smaller than the other four GSD breeds. These dogs also have very strict standards for breeding, and that's why they are very healthy like East Working Line DDR GSDs. These dogs have the least behavioral problems as compared to the other four types of GSDs. These dogs are best for chasing down criminals, patrolling border territories, protection jobs, and search and rescue operations. They tend to mature the slowest growth-wise of the working lines. They were once the most prey-driven, which led to high stamina and agility. As far as looks are concerned, they generally have a sable or a gouty coat, which is a mixture of black and tan shades. While this line has calmed over the years, they are still hardwired for work, so if you opt for a check puppy, reputable breeding to ensure a proper temperament for your family situation is imperative. Having appropriate outlets is vital. If you want the best out of your dog, providing them with appropriate behavioral training is key to an irreplaceable relationship. However, many of these dogs have a relaxed temperament in today's world, making them fun-loving companions for multi-pet and multi-people households. 
Because of the muddied breeding, many Czech puppies have bloodlines that veered off, mixed with other German Shepherd type lines along the way. Number 2. American Showline German Shepherds The American Showline German Shepherds are also called the AKC Lines GSDs. This type of German Shepherds are generally taller and longer. They come in different colors like black and tan saddle, solid black, saddle, sable, and solid white. American German Shepherds are the most seen Shepherds in the US and Canada. These lines are the most different from all the Shepherd variations. Since they are a combination of many bloodlines, you may notice that an American Shepherd is more substantial in build and their heads and muzzles are shorter. American Showline German Shepherds are most generally black and tan, though with specific breeding, they can be a variety of colors. They are generally lighter and have more of a sloping gait and longer hocks than their European relatives. Their underbellies are thicker, as are their chest portions. Because of the backyard breeding problem among Shepherds in America, many of these dogs are passed off as champions but are muddied down. So, if you want to show quality Shepherd, be sure to do your homework. Proven bloodlines are a must to ensure good temperament and quality. Backyard breeding has led to these guys getting quite a bad rep. American Showline German Shepherds are good pets for family. These GSDs are very obedient and are good at herding sheep and tracking as compared to working line GSDs. American Showline GSDs are active but have low strength and because of this weakness, these GSDs do not really best for top personal protection or law enforcement. But some of them do reasonably good and are widely used. You may see people selling shepherds claiming strong champion bloodlines, but these may not be authentic. While people may not breed these dogs to be irresponsible, it leads to many undesirable traits such as nervousness, aggression, and various health issues. Number 1. European Showline German Shepherds The European Working Line German Shepherds are ideal specimens in terms of breed looks. They are typically a rich rust color and black. Their backs are straighter, preventing any excessive sloping to reduce commonly seen issues. They must pass tests to ensure that their joints and hips are in tip-top order, to avoid problems like hip and elbow dysplasia. The show lines came about once the work lines were solid, and each dog used for breeding must also double as working dog material. However, rather than being such prey-driven workaholics, these tend to be slow-paced dogs who do better within family structures. Because of selective breeding, European and mostly German show line German Shepherds have a less chance of developing issues relating to ill temperaments. Tests will reveal any trait considered unwanted to prevent further breeding from the specimen. Therefore, the most significant difference between show lines of America and Europe is a focus on the overall greatness of the breed. European lines uphold the authenticity of the original breed standards. These strict regulations help produce reliable, well-rounded dogs. Conclusion Generally, German Shepherds are fantastically loyal and fiercely intelligent. When you opt to purchase a puppy, you must be aware of its history. This step can only help enhance the bond you have with your pet as well as prepare you for any bumps in the road of pet owning. When training is properly implemented, their brains are stimulated, and if they are well cared for, they are terrific additions to many different lifestyles. To be confident that you're getting a quality dog, deeply research any breeder and their claims to lineage. This will help ensure that you are getting an even-tempered, trainable dog. Do let us know in the comments which one of them you want in your home. Please subscribe to The Amazing Dogs. Thanks for watching.